Hello, I'm Mark with another Can-Am Riker video. Today I'm going to show you a no-drill parking brake lock for your Can-Am Riker. I hope you enjoy the video. Alright guys, I got this from RacingPowerSports.com for $29.95 and free shipping. And as you can see, I got the parking brake lock cover with the hole already in it. And also the parking brake lock and the screws that come with it here. Anyway, guys, let's get to the installation and let me show you what's in the packaging. All right, I have the packaging open. You have the parking brake lock cover, the parking brake lock, the screws, the keys, and everything's looking pretty good. It says the part number right here, if you can see, is 707000666. And I believe that is for this lock here itself. The cover, if you flip it over, I'm going to show you here. It says BRP. Made in Mexico, 70700. So I'm not sure if that's the part number or not, but I'm taking it. It probably is. Anyway, guys, let's get the installation. All right, guys, I'm on the side of the Riker here. And if you notice at the very, very bottom here on the cover, there's two little, looks like flip levers here. You're just going to pull these forward, both of these. And very easily... This is just going to lift straight off. So let me get this off here. I'm trying to do this one-handed. I apologize. That comes straight off. And you're going to notice right over here is your old cover without the hole in it. Anyway, guys, let's get to taking this cover off. It's looking like only two tools are needed for the installation. I'm going to be using a 530 seconds Allen key here. And also, I'm going to be using a T30 or a Torx 30 star bit here. And... You're going to have to take out these two screws, the one being here, and the real pain in the butt one that's right up here. I have my socket wrench attached to this T30 screw here, and I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed, guys, but as you can see, it is getting past the cover real easy here. Let me get this screw out, and I'll be right back to you. All right, I finally got that pesky top screw loosened, and it is a little bit of a pain, guys. You really have to feel around to get a good uh, hold on it there. I'm going to get this one out and I'm going to pull the cover right off. This cover doesn't look like it wants to come off, but it definitely will. What you want to do is get it at an angle like this and you're going to stick your fingers behind it. Give it a good tug. This will come off for you. It needs a little bit of persuasion, but don't worry guys, you won't damage anything. This will come off and as you can see, it came off cleanly here, no damage. Let's get the rest of this installation finished up. The next thing we're going to do is get our parking brake lock. It's just going to go into this little section right here. And it seats very, very nicely. And right on the side here, you're going to see the screws. We're going to put those two Allen screws in there right now. I have the two Allen screws in the side here. I'm just going to tighten these up. I'm going to get my, my Allen keys here and get this tightened up right now for you. All right, guys, I got those two screws in here. And you're going to notice once I flip my parking brake lock up, you don't want to push this too far. This isn't meant to go past this and lock on top of it. What it's meant to do is actually seat inside of it here. So this is actually inside of this lever. And as you can see, this thing's not going anywhere. Let's get the cover back on. All right, guys, this cover is not going to look like it's going to go on. I just had it on and I took it off to try to do it for video purposes here. And I had to figure out how to get this on, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it one-handed. What you're going to want to do here is get this corner in like shown, get it past these screws here, and then you're just going to push this in and upward. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, like I said, one-handed here, so I'm going to put the camera down. So this corner in first, get it past the screws like I have over here, and just push in and up, and this will go right on. All right, I was able to push that in and upward, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, it wasn't easy. I had a pretty much... Push in as hard as I could on this here and push upward and it did go, but it took me probably about 15 seconds of struggling with it, but it will go past this plastic guy. So, and you won't damage anything here. You just have the cable coming down. So don't worry about that. The last thing I got to do is put these, these uh, T30 screws back in one here and one at the very top. And you're going to notice that before I did that, I'm checking my parking brake here and it is working correctly. So I am going to get these T30s tightened up, and I'll be right back. I'm tightening these T30 screws here, and what I did, and I found it, it's a lot easier to do here, is I have the cover on, I have this locked, and as you're going to see, 
the lock is engaged in the lever here. So that's the easiest way to put these screws in. And this top screw is going to be a pain in the butt, I'm telling you now, because you have to really feel for it. And I'm going to get that in next, but there's no way I'm going to hold the camera to get that in. And that is up here. And as you've seen before, this will fit in between the plastic and the cover here. So you are going to want to use one of these small socket wrenches again. Getting this top screw in is not fun whatsoever. I'm threading it in by hand here as far as I can actually get this. Then I'm going to stick my socket wrench in there. So I think I got this threaded as far as it's possibly going to go by hand. So I'm going to get the socket wrench in there and tighten this up the rest of the way. I got both screws tightened down. The lock seems to be working perfectly here. I'm going to take the key out. You can see it's really nice and flush up against the cover here. And it's looking good, guys. It's working perfectly. I just turned the bike on. I wanted to test everything out. And uh, everything is working well. So the last thing we want to do here is get this side cover back on. The last thing we want to do is get this side cover on. And I'm going to put this on the ground here. This is so hard to do one-handed. This top lip of this goes over the top lip over here. And I apologize if I'm going to do this a little slow here. I wish I had an assistant. I need an assistant, guys. All right. It looks like we are hung up over here now. I'm going to flip these two little switches, levers on the bottom here, and we're all set. She's looking good. Parking brake lock installed. I honestly don't know if this was actually easier than drilling out the hole, but I was really afraid to drill that hole out, so I wanted to get this kit here. The hardest part of this is getting that top screw in and out, getting this cover to come out. You got to give it a little bit of a yank like I showed you in the video and getting it back in. So if you're not afraid to drill, guys, the drilled version may be just a hair easier than this. But it, this wasn't bad overall. Like I said, just getting those screws in were a pain in the butt. Anyway, I hope this video helped you today. If it did, guys, please hit that like button. And like always, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate watching.